What up, you guys? Welcome back. I'm trying to switch up my intro here, spice it up so it's not always, hey guys, welcome back to my channel every single time. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorites from the months of October and November. If you're new to my channel, I don't do favorites every single month. I kind of just do them whenever I feel like I have a good amount of strong favorites, which tends to be about every other month. Also, when I first started doing favorites videos, I would also share some items that weren't makeup related, and I haven't been doing that lately, but today I have some really good favorites, not makeup related, that I really want to share with you guys. So before we get into the video, do me a huge favor, take a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'll give you guys a moment. I won't start the video just yet. I'll pause. And once you're done, we can get into today's video. I'm gonna start with the non-makeup related items first, and I wanna talk to you guys about my current favorite TV show. It's old, it's nothing new, but Kyle and I are seriously obsessed to the point where we keep binge watching it, and it's ruining our sleep because we watch it and we're like, oh, let's just start the next one, maybe watch like five or 10 minutes, and then we finish that episode. And before you know it, we're on season three and we've only been watching this show for about two weeks now. That's that's really bad. But the show I'm talking about is Mad Men. I'm sure a ton of you guys are also fans. I'm pretty sure the show has ended. It's no longer uh, currently airing. I think there was like 10 seasons. So I'm trying to watch them all as fast as I possibly can because I am addicted. Don Draper, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Another favorite of mine is this hat. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this coming because I wear it almost every single week or every single day. It's just, I mean, these are really trendy right now. I think they're called Fiddler hats or Baker Boy hats or Paper Boy hats. You can find these hats under that name on the internet. I got mine from Brixton. This is the brand right here. And, oh my God. When you don't feel like doing your hair, this hat comes to the rescue every time because they are so trendy at the moment that they make your outfit look cuter. Like, honestly, there's some outfits that I feel like are not complete without this hat. Let me just put it on for you guys. It's also very Selena. I feel very Selena in this hat. Do you see what I mean? It just kind of like, it even goes with this little red romper, which is on the fancier side, even like, you guys can't even see the bottom. I have to like stand up on my chair. Oh my God, did I even shake my leg? It seriously goes with everything and makes every outfit 10 times cuter. All of these items, you guys, by the way, are gonna be linked down below for you guys. And my last not makeup related favorite item is this freaking candle. I cannot express to you guys how good this candle smells. It smells like a sexy campfire. If a campfire was sexy, this is what it would smell like. My favorite notes when it comes to fragrances are sandalwood, santal, and just like really woodsy, musky scents. My favorite fragrance, or the fragrance that I always wear is Le Labo's Santal 33. It's usually back here in my background. This is like the little travel size version. This is my fragrance. If you run into me, this is what I smell like. This is what I always wear. And this candle kind of just smells like a more woodsy version of that fragrance. I know Santal or Le Lavo does make a Santal candle, but that candle is so expensive. This candle I think was $14.99 and totally worth it. I got it at World Market. You can get it in store or online and so good. Moving on to makeup, the first item I wanna talk about is this lipstick. This is Max The Right Note Cream Sheen Lipstick, and I wanna bring it up first because I need to touch up my lip. Is this not the most perfect neutral nude you have ever seen in your life? I have to refrain from using this in every tutorial where I wanna wear a nude lip because I wanna give you guys options, but this color on my skin tone, my light olive skin tone is perfect. It doesn't turn brassy. It's the right nude where you can do something crazy with your eyes and the nude lip will kind of just balance everything out. It's just such a beautiful lipstick and I love nude lipsticks to be kind of glossy and shiny, uh, not matte and this is a cream sheen so definitely has that moisture and that shine to it and it's just the absolute perfect nude in my opinion. Next I have this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Nude bronze light. I've been trying to expand my horizons and not use the same three or four bronzers I use all the time. Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, Milk Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I'm already forgetting what the other ones are, but I use the same three or four bronzers in all of my tutorials. And so I decided to give this one a try. I was a little skeptical at first because the darker brown kind of, it scared me a bit, 
But once I started using it, I was really impressed by the way it went on the skin. It just looks really natural. It's the one I have on right now and it's the perfect color. It's not too warm that you can't chisel or contour your face with it and it's not too taupey or cool toned that it looks muddy on the skin or is just strictly a contouring powder. I think it's the best of both worlds and it's just an overall beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronzer and it will be going into my rotation of those same four or five bronzers that I use all the time. Speaking of bronzer, I've been, I've been loving this Buildable Cheek Brush by Smashbox. I don't have anything like it. It looks pretty similar to those angled bronzer brushes, but let me just tell you, it is nothing like all those angled bronzer powder brushes. The bristles or the way it's designed, it's very, very tight at the bottom and then it just kind of like poofs out at the top and the bristles are so incredibly soft. It feels like the lightest little poof of air is touching your skin. It gives a really nice airbrush finish to any powder application. Like I mentioned, I primarily use it for bronzer, but you can also use it with blush and uh, setting powder. It leaves you with the softest application. I love it with bronzer because when I apply my bronzer, I don't have any harsh lines. You know when you apply bronzer sometimes and you can see like the line where you applied it and then you have to blend it out? You don't have that issue with this brush. It just gives the most beautiful application and it's probably the only brush I'm gonna continue using for my bronzer for the time being until something better comes up because I think right now this is the best. Another brush I've been really loving is this Sigma Spotlight Duster, the F37 brush. I use it for highlighter and I know it can be intimidating because it's pretty large for a highlighter brush, but I tend to just use the very tip and just the tip. The bristles just lightly diffuse and lightly apply powder. It doesn't apply it in large amounts. It just lightly dusts it onto the skin, giving you a really nice finish, especially when it comes to highlighter. For some reason, I feel like I haven't mentioned these in a favorites video, and you guys know that they are my absolute favorite. I use them for pretty much every eyeshadow look that I do. These are the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Pencils, and if I have mentioned them before, I'm gonna mention my favorite must-have colors. That way, if I have mentioned them, I'm giving you some new information and not just repeating the same, the same old stuff I've mentioned in a previous favorites video. My favorite colors that are must-haves from this collection are Fig, which is a really nice warm brown. Slate, which is a really nice dark neutral gray. Taupe, which is taupe. Terra, which is a really light terracotta color. And Night, which is black. One other color that I would highly recommend that I cannot find for the life of me and it was my favorite color and it was brand new. The color is chocolate. It's like the perfect chocolatey brown. Oh, I love that color and I, I seriously lost it. It's brand new. I just bought it like, it hasn't even been a month and I've already lost it. So those are all my favorites from the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color Collection. Next I have the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. These are the best liquid lipsticks out there right now. And like I mentioned in my previous makeup tutorial, I was starting to really, really not like liquid lipsticks. They were just so drying and not comfortable. And I just, I don't like how they get really crusty and flake off throughout the day. That is very unattractive to me when you are going about your day and then you talk to someone and you can just tell that there's like crusty, liquid lipstick flakes on your lips and on your teeth. So I got really over them. I wasn't even gonna give these a try. That's how much I was hating liquid lipsticks. And I'm so glad I gave them a try because they feel like nothing on your lips. They go on like water. They stay on beautifully when they fade. They fade nicely like a regular lipstick. They don't flake or chunk off your lips. And the applicator on these is also really nice. It's very precise to the point where you don't need a lip liner to go with these liquid lipsticks. And I also wanna mention the color that I wore to the NARS Friendsgiving because a lot of you loved it from my vlog. The best, the best they liquid really lipsticks. Are so like they good. feel like you have nothing on. I know, I thought the same thing. The color was Don't Stop, which is a really, really super duper vibrant red. This next product isn't just one in particular, it's kind of like an overall category. These are wet skin moisturizers. I feel like for a moment there, they were very highly sponsored. I never did a sponsorship for them, but they were sent to me from various brands just to try out. And the way these work is after your shower, before you've dried off, you apply these like a body lotion and then you pat dry your body with the towel versus drying off with the towel and then applying a moisturizer. The reason I love these is because some days 
I just want to get out of the shower and go. I don't want to apply a full-on body lotion. And I also love them for shaving in the shower. I like them better than an actual like shaving cream or foam or gel. Shaving with these is really nice because it feels really hydrating. It doesn't feel rough on the skin. And then afterwards, when you rinse off, your skin feels way better than it does when you use a shaving cream. Um, so again, I just love these products in general. There isn't one in particular that I absolutely love more than the other. Um, the two that I currently have in the shower, this one's pretty much empty, is this Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. And then the other one is this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer with Nourishing Manoa Oil. Two more items and I'm done. Which one do I wanna do next? Sika Repair Tiger Grass Nightly Repair Mask. These come in individual packets, and let me just tell you, they are a lifesaver when your skin is feeling irritated or especially dry. You know when your skin gets so dry that it just feels really tight? For me, it usually occurs around the mouth, and I just, I, ooh, that feeling when your skin is so dry is the absolute worst. But when you put this on at night, you do it after all of your skincare, or I think you can wear it alone. I usually do the Sika Repair or the Sika Moisturizer and then do this on top. It feels like you're putting like a protective layer or glove of moisture on your skin. It feels so good, I can't explain it. It just feels like, I don't know, like a protective shield has been placed on your skin and you wake up with skin that has been replenished and renewed and um, anything that was wrong with it before you went to bed is kind of all better in the morning. Not so much with like acne or discoloration or anything, just like the way it feels. If it feels dry and tight or textured and flaky, this will take care of it. I highly recommend it right now during winter. Um, my skin is definitely starting to get more on the dry side and this has been saving me at night. Except for the fact that Mika's fur ends up glued to your entire face because it is really sticky in a good way, but not when you have a dog <laughs> or a cat or any furry animal. And the last item I wanna to mention to you guys is this Vita Liberata Body Blur. I cannot wear or show off my legs without applying this first. It makes your legs look airbrushed, literally airbrushed. Like you got a spray tan or an airbrush tan. It makes your legs look like Barbie legs, any imperfections, veins, ingrown hairs. I really dislike the discoloration on my knees. I feel like my knees always look I don't know, maybe it's like from growing up, like all the scars on your knees, I don't know. My knees to me are not the most beautiful and this definitely just smooths everything out, makes everything look really flawless. It adds a nice little bit of shine. So in photographs, your legs look almost like you have a pair of nude nylons on. Like remember the ones that the Hooter girls would wear at the Hooters restaurants? That is what this stuff makes your legs look like. And that completes all of my current favorites. If you have any recommendations for me based off what I showed you guys today, leave them in the comment section for me down below because I always love seeing what you guys are currently loving and I love checking those items out. So definitely do that for me. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.